UFC 243 is upon us. Melbourne, the destination. Can't wait for this. This is what the middleweight division wants, isn't it? The Battle of Australasia. Yes, a striking extravaganza as well. You know, you've got obviously Robert Whittaker, someone that has got a, a, a real diverse skill set, more a traditional martial arts skill set though. And then Israel Adesanya is, is, is like the, the second coming of the Matrix now. Anderson Silva's stepped down from the podium. He's a very special athlete, but a very a contrast to styles. I mean, obviously Whittaker's going to come moving forward and throw a barrage of punches, but. Israel Adesanya has got he's got that that bit of witchcraft that kind of holds people back because they're not exactly sure what's coming, and he's got them that that snaky move. You know what I mean? I love watching both of these guys. I just don't know how it's going to play out. I'm gonna have to spend some good time thinking mm. about this. You must be you must be torn because I'm devastated. because Nick basically I'm, I'm picked devastated. Izzy out as he's one to watch about three years ago before he hit the UFC. 2018 so was my prospect to watch, mm. and then he got signed. Yeah. And then obviously he lights up the UFC, and he keeps telling me every time he fights, "I told you so. I told you so about this kid." Yeah. However. You're a big Robert Whittaker fan as well. I am. Robert Whittaker's in my top five, pound for pound, on the planet, walking the earth, baddest, baddest dudes out there. I'm a huge Robert Whittaker fan since his days as a welterweight. As a middleweight, he's just evolved so much. He's got everything. He's literally got everything, every facet in the game he's mastered. And I think that alone, that bit of experience, that little bit more octagon time is what's going to push him just slightly over the edge against Israel Adesanya. It kills me to say because I say I'm a massive Adesanya fan. I think he's got a huge future in the sport. My biggest tip is 2020, deep into 2020, the biggest fight will be Darren Till versus Adesanya. I've said it on camera, it will happen. It will be huge. But in the meantime, Bobby Knuckles Adesanya is flames. I spent, was lucky enough to live in Australia for a couple of years when I was a lot younger. They're obsessed with sport, they're obsessed with competition. They love a fight and a beer. It's going to go down absolutely brilliantly. And listen, as long as it's a five round war, I'll be happy. But I think Bobby Knuckles might just have a little bit too much more. Do you think there'll be more people in this one than there were for uh, Ronda and Holly? It's the same venue. 56,000, I think, is the capacity. That's an awful lot of people, mate. That is a lot of people. But, you know, a fight like the fight of this magnitude deserves those kind of numbers, you know. And with them both being such likable people, superstars, very, very talented fighters both with the potential of being a world champion for a long time, that arena is going to fill up and it's going to be wild, isn't it? What a huge moment for like Australasian MMA though oh. as well. Like, you know, it's New Zealand against Australia. It's like their thing. Like they've got a UFC champion and Bobby Knuckles and Robert Whittaker. And now they've got a top contender as well. They're dominating the middleweight division. It will be party time down there, down under, let me say it. Well, the thing that I like about it the most is that what we've seen over the last year, maybe more so, is that the big named events, the big numbered events, aren't just being stuck in Vegas and New York. And no, no, don't get me wrong, I love them, absolutely love them. But what they're doing is, who are the poster boys and girls of certain areas of the world, and let's take those big pay-per-view nights to that event. Obviously, Abu Dhabi. Khabib was the man, that's what it was sold on. Now we're going to Australasia because that's where the champs are. That's good news for everybody else around the world. People like uh, Wiley Zhang, you know? She becomes a champ. All of a sudden, don't be surprised if we end up in China sometime soon once again with a massive show, with a massive show as well. And there are so many interesting fights for her. I mean, uh, you know, watching her against Joanna would be a fascinating matchup, especially stylistically. I also think we might see her against Shevchenko at some point in the future, maybe even, because Zhang Weili, I feel like she could move up a weight class and still be very strong in that weight division, especially seeing how she, you know, blasted uh, 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 Jessica out of the water, yeah. 42 seconds. We've got superstars all over the world now. All of a sudden, I mean, it's always been a very international sport, but it's always been international because, we, because we've brought fighters in from around the world into the US, yeah. into the big shows. Now the big shows are going into these different regions because the fan base there is demanding to see these fighters live. And, you know, when, when, with the opportunity to see uh, these, these fighters in Melbourne, that arena is going to fill up. And knowing what happened in the last one with Ronda and Holly as well, people are going to be like, I am not missing that. Exactly. I'm going to be there. One of the most iconic moments in all of sport. The kick here around the world. So just on Wiley, I hope he gets the fight, Henry Cejudo. I'd like to see a choke out, Henry Cejudo. That'd be nice. Uh, make sure you're tuning in to UFC 243 from Melbourne, the big one for the middleweight championship of the world against Izzy or Bobby Knuckles. It's up to you to decide, but you can see it on BT Sport. Yeah.